Good evening guys and happy Sunday to all of your sunshiny faces. Oh my goodness guys, I am so tired. I am so ready for bed and it is so early too. I honestly was falling asleep about nine o'clock tonight. <laughs> I am so ready for bed. Um, I ended up getting up early this morning because I still had some of the pictures that I've been going through for my aunt. Um, you know, I've been reorganizing a lot of her photos um, and I was, I have a like card table set up in the living room I've been doing it sporadically kind of um you know like either once or sometimes a few times per day like I might sometimes do it like earlier in the day if I'm watching like the Cubs game <laughs> I might end up watching something else in the evening and work on it um or there's been a couple days where I haven't worked on it um but I ended up um today I had I was almost done with all of the like really old photos I'd say probably anything before the 60s I have some of like my great grandpa that were from like I think 29 um for sure and that's like the oldest this date that I have some of the photos might be older too that just don't aren't like dated but clearly they're pretty old pictures too based on like who's in them and you know that kind of stuff um but you know so it's probably spans most of that you know era I guess um and you know basically like when my great grandparents were kind of like young and like had kids and then also too it's like since it's not just my aunt's photos it's also my uncle's photos um as well it has some of his family but my aunt has a lot of like really really old photos and things like that and then again too there's probably a little less of like for my uncle like I had his whole family in just like one kind of envelope um whereas again to my aunt and you know which is my grandma side the family I have a lot more photos for and split up by like all of the different sides of the family and stuff like that as well so again, I ended up, um, you know, I was almost actually done with it. I had one little stack that I still wanted to finish going through and I didn't finish it last night and I was just kind of too tired to finish it last night. So I was like, can somebody wake me up early in the morning so I can finish going through this and then get all the photos moved out of the living room so they're not still in there when, you know, again, too, we end up, you know, having, celebrating St. Patrick's Day today. Um, so I ended up finishing up that, but again, too, I woke up early because of that this morning. Um, but I did end up getting it all done. So all of those old photos are like completely organized. I might actually, I think I have a very small stack of like maybe no more than 20 pictures. But the thing is, is that I can't decide exactly exactly where I want them to go so I can't decide like oh should these maybe go with like vacation photos or should these go with like this side of the family or also too again because like my um both my grandparents you know they're two separate sides of the family they might have ended up celebrating like certain parties where it was like both of the, those sides of the families or like something like that and so um I don't know like where because that was kind of how I organized that era of photos like I was saying um was I tried to do it more by family just because again too I'm not going to necessarily know like this photo was from the summer of 43 <laughs> you know like there's not a lot of ways to be able to figure all of that stuff out and it's not all dated either like that kind of stuff and I can't easily identify oh this was so and so and they look to be about two years old in this picture um and even some of the stuff too that I've noticed like I found a couple photos that are were like clearly taken at the exact same time but somebody has dated them incorrectly on the back where it'll have two different like dates. It'll be like, you know, January of 52 and then it might say like December of you know like 51 like so it's definitely <laughs> difference there um you know again some of the stuff isn't like super super dramatic where it'll be like it says that it's like a span of like 10 years or something like that but you know sometimes I've noticed like that it'll say different things so I didn't want to go through and try and organize the photos by date especially those really old ones but I wanted to try and group them more by family and try and make things a little bit easier also too because like the one side of the family um I tried to do it by like um like when the grandkids were like older and then when they were also like younger um so again too that would have been like my grandma's like 
like generation um so like when they were like clearly at least like middle school again like maybe elementary school because my grandma i think was one of the younger grandkids um at least that we have photos of so i tried to do it a little bit more like split it up by like again to my my aunt was probably one of the first like three or four grandkids maybe five at most um i think at least again too that we're still in that area and that kind of stuff too like that you know because there were 10 i think or no maybe eight um of like those like siblings and then my aunt and grandma's generation like that was their parents and aunts like they had like eight aunt and uncles you know again whatever <laughs> plus their parents um so you know but then like it was all those like grandkids like that was my grandma and aunts like you know generation um and like all of them again too my grandma fell on the younger end and my aunt fell on well, probably a little bit more the older end and she would have been with like the older cousins whereas my grandma was probably with like the younger cousins and like i said like the grandkids when i'm thinking of it from like the great grand parents because like that's probably the furthest that I have photos dating back to was like my grandma's grandparents um I don't have anything like any photos any of, of anybody like older than that um so like I said that was how I ended up organizing all the photos and I ended up sorting those ones pictures like if they were like baby pictures of like my aunt and like you know again to like her cousins and maybe even my grandma those ones were more like older kind of like um or again to young grandkid photos was what I named them and then the older ones were older you know grandkid photos because I had so many of from like that time frame of like again to all the grandkids are being born so there's tons and tons of photos and again too I couldn't really place the dates exactly so I just tried to use kind of rough estimate by splitting it up by like this was kind of older this is kind of younger like they're their babies or like maybe toddlers at this time whereas like clearly my grandma was like maybe in elementary school by some of the other photos then I split them up kind of that way so I think it worked out really well but again too I was pretty much almost finished with that last night I just didn't completely get it done so I did today this morning and I'm so happy with that because now that that's done sort of for the most part um like I said I'm, I'm just really like I feel like I'm I'm moving a little bit closer to finally being done and again to have taken a while to kind of work on it sporadically um instead of just like dedicating like all my time to it because again to it, it it is a lot <laughs> i feel like of like a little bit you know like i said kind of that mental toll of like i can't just sit here all day and look at these photos and like i almost have them memorized too like i'm like oh that photo well you know so and so was wearing that dress i can definitely tell that was from this party or whatever like that kind of stuff and so it's just like, <laughs> i have that stuff memorized um and so like i said it's just I can't sit there though all day and like be looking at that it is like how much brain capacity is being <laughs> taken up right now is that I have things like that memorized um and so again too if I were to be doing that for like three days straight I I'm pretty sure I'd br fry my brain <laughs> I would not be able to do it so um like I said I need like you know again to maybe a day off you know or something like that here or there where um again too if I have to work on stuff too like grocery lists or grocery shopping stuff or whatever it is you know that kind of thing too I'm taking a little bit of that break as well um you know so anyways finished that today then we ended up celebrating St. Patrick's Day um we ended up doing corned beef and cabbage and um, we have enough leftovers to be able to do Reuben sandwiches tomorrow um but again too ended up doing the um you know all of the the traditional foods Jack actually too for dessert he's done this maybe twice now he ended up making brownies with this like um sort of like I think it's buttercream frosting possibly um I'm not actually entirely sure of the recipe and unfortunately Jack didn't actually realize it called for powdered sugar we went to the store we bought powdered sugar because he told me he's like oh we need five cups of powdered sugar do we have enough and I was like uh, definitely not five cups I was like we'll, we'll need to get more so went to Aldi bought powdered sugar he ended up proceeding to using regular like, white granulated sugar um so the consistency of the frosting was a little bit different but Jack's taking like 
in high school he took like cooking classes and stuff like that so he like knows his way around the kitchen for some reason he just didn't understand or realize that like he was supposed to add the powdered sugar and not like regular sugar i i don't know why like again too he's and he's made the recipe before in his cooking class but then he ended up making it i think twice or three times maybe now for um saint patrick's day and um yeah he just ended up using regular sugar so the consistency was a little bit different but it was still good i I just could not hardly eat any of it because I told you guys I'm not a huge sweets person like my mom made brownies honestly the other night and I was like oh brownies I was like I can't wait like I actually got a, like a bigger brownie because I kind of wanted it I literally felt sick after eating it like I mean it still wasn't even that big of a piece of like brownie but it's just like I don't like sugary stuff and the weird thing too is i was telling my dad i was like i don't think i like processed sugars like i like sweet things though like but i just don't like processed sugars like i love berries and like again to like just other sweet things but when it comes to like straight sugar like that is like in a cake in a you know again too like if it's even if it's like hard candies and things like that like i can have like one or two pieces and like that's it like, it was funny too because we brought something up about easter i remember that there was one year where like matthew got like an entire like bag or two bags of like jelly beans and he ate them in like an entire week like i could never do that I, it would take me like a year to eat an entire bag of jelly beans like <laughs> because i just like every once in a while like i said i'll have a sweet tooth i'll like want a piece of like chocolate or something like that but it's just like i just don't seem to like the processed sugars but when it comes to like berries and things like that that are like naturally sweet um you know i can have like a i can eat like two three four packages <laughs> you know like that's not a problem for me but like as far as like sweets go i'm not a huge like i said i don't know and just like also processed sugars too um more than it seems like and it's like again too straight like dessert sweet foods also too it's weird i've just never like even since i was like a little kid i just never had that much of a desire to like eat like a ton of like sweets or candy or something like that like you wouldn't normally probably find me as the kid that like got into halloween candy and ended up eating all of it like if i had like anything it's maybe like a piece or two you know <laughs> like something like that um but I, I could never eat like an entire like bag of jelly beans <laughs> so um like i said that was fun today getting to hang out with family and celebrating saint patrick's day today as well um you know again too we my mom actually printed off like word searches like uh um like it had different like saint patrick's day themed kind of like word search um we ended up kind of doing that and just kind of again to celebrated saint patrick's day um originally my aunt and uncle were gonna come too but they weren't gonna be able to come until later so my mom was gonna move dinner back and my aunt was like if you're gonna move dinner around don't worry about it you know so um they didn't end up coming today but originally like we we're kind of planning on possibly them ending up coming over but um we will see them for easter in two weeks i think it is <laughs> i think that's easter which seems so weird because honestly it see the easter this year seems really really close like especially saint patrick's day i'm like so we have to take the saint patrick's day stuff down like today and put up like the easter stuff because it's like two weeks away so um yeah i don't know it just it seems a lot faster like i don't know if it's it's probably always been pretty close saint patrick's day but for some reason to me i'm like it's literally two weeks away and then also too because it was like fell on a Sunday which I don't know how often it falls on a Sunday but um you know so that's why too it like feels like it's a lot closer to being like exactly two weeks away from Easter and then you know Easter's a little not earlier this year but like it feels like it is because it's you know like normally Jack's birthday I think Easter's fallen on Jack's birthday like a year or two where it's been the 8th of April um so again too it's like the end of March though this year so anyways though I'm going to take a shower and get to bed because like I said I am super tired but I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see y'all very sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys